Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another retro review. Today I have a retro Playmobil space to share with you. Ha! Huh. Oh, that rhymed. Jeez. Um, anyway, uh, I have this set, 3590. It, uh, actually, I have a box for it. See, what did I say? All the way from Playmobil Space is 3590. Uh, one of those auxiliary sets that Playmobil releases quite often. Uh, this one comes with two little space dudes and what I can only assume are walkie talkies or some sort of soil, soil sample device or something. Because they use these quite interchangeably. Either they're talking to somebody or they're, I don't know, maybe they're tricorders. Maybe they're taking samples of the air and the ground. Kind of interesting. You can do whatever you want. It's kind of uh, your own interpretation, but it's, I don't know. That's my interpretation. Uh, anyway, uh, looking at the cool little uh, graphic behind them, you see there's a little, a little uh, Saturn-like planet back there and a cool little uh, 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 array of a moonscape behind them. I really dig that. They really went... Uh, Playmobil really went out of that, out of this world with this type of uh, scenery. I really dig that. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's basically more of the same on the back here. We have uh, yet, yet another space colony going on. This time you can see all these different haphazard colored dudes around. Just there isn't any real part of uh, any space deer they can find. I can only presume that they're either you know private contractors or they're just... Uh, you know, they run out of uh, clean parts of their their own spacesuits. So that's kind of interesting. Something that uh, uh, Lego space sets didn't do is they didn't do the mix and matching of colors very often. Uh, not until um, let's say um, Mtron, uh, they they didn't do that very very often. Uh, but yeah, I really did these uh, different colored guys here. Uh, basically, the white helmets with the uh, different colors underneath. Very cool. Uh, also, I, I did that space whole space. I don't know, lunar base, I guess. That's a neat little thing going in. Um, I don't know, very cool. Also very cool scenery going on in the background. Um, don't see a lot, uh, I don't know, I'm a fan of classic space, Lego classic space, and uh, I like the idea of being able to build onto your things, but insofar as a functioning little toy, I like these little space suits, or uh, little space vehicles and whatnot. They're good, they're fun, they look fun. And I wouldn't mind having a few of these, to be honest. Um, yeah. So, oh, I didn't re even realize that they, we had a uh, R2-D2 knocked off down here next to a... Is that a cop with a baton? Oh, jeez, man. Calm down. He's taking his soil sample as fast as he can. Huh. That's a cool-looking crater. Um, is that guy orange, or is he red? I guess he's red. Um, slight distillation on this, this panel here, I guess. Um, because that guy looks a little yellow. Uh, mostly he's got jaundice going on. Anyway, more or less, I'm, I'm, I wish I had gotten one of these dudes. He looks like a cool little uh, R2-D2 knockoff. Um, yeah. So, anyway, uh, that's Playmobil Space. Uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's the inside of the lunar base. Where there's a couple more of the robots. And just some guy on some sort of uh, uh, tread treadmill? <laughs> I guess he's doing exercise. <laughs> um, and while these guys are playing... Uh, um, are you are you guys playing each other? Is that Doom? <laughs> you kids. So anyway, um, as with my previous video on the uh, lunar space, I guess that was uh, space bulldozer. Um, the box kind of differs a little bit from the figures that I received. Oh, watch out! Uh, so as we can see here, my figures don't have the chrome on any of the parts that appear to have chrome on the box, so that's a little disappointing. And also, um, somehow they have space ankles, space bracelets going on. Not really sure what's going on there. So, kind of, oh, watch out. That box does not want to stay up, I swear. Um, so we have the red guy, and we have this yellow guy here, which actually, in, in all opinion, I like the yellow guy better. Um, just a cool... Um, cool little uh, figures going on despite the fact that it's a little misleading from the box um good little supplementary set to go along with any of your uh, playmobil space dudes man he's got some serious hat hair going on um yeah so nothing really much more to say about these guys um oh, actually let's take a look at their tricorders that's actually a big wooden thing um nothing really going on there oh here's a couple buttons and a dial on this side 
and what I can assume is a little walky. Um, although, I don't know, use your imagination. You can do whatever you want with this thing, I suppose. You can, uh, you can call up to your spaceship and still do soil samples, I believe. But anyway, that's a cool little blast from the past. Uh, cool little clicky figures from a uh, retro space set. Uh, and if you'd like to see some more random toy reviews um, that I either found at the thrift store or just acquired through online sales, uh, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Wait a minute, he doesn't have any gloves!